Good morning, friends. Have a little morning coffee. Some of you subscribers been getting a little restless because I've been talking about what's on my mind being out here in the Arizona desert, what's going on, instead of telling you stories. So, I guess I better tell you a story today. Here's one that I've been wanting to tell you. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We were shopping at a Kmart and this was back when uh, my daughter was about five years old and back in those days, she's now in her 40s, back in those days you could just go to a store and leave your kids in the toy aisle and they would entertain themselves playing with toys uh, while you went off to another part of the store and shopped. And nobody suggested that you ought to be incarcerated for being a bad parent. You could go into any kind of a department store like that that sold toys and see toys on the floor in the toy aisle where kids had been playing. Well, of course, times have changed and you shouldn't do that anymore because uh, you will be accused of being a bad parent and may be even criminally charged for negligence. But, 40 years ago, it was, times were different. Anyway, we're at a, a Kmart and our five-year-old daughter, Becky, uh, is very curious about um, one of the announcements that you, you would you would hear this sometimes that uh, we have a little lost boy up here at the front of the store and would his parents come up and retrieve him. Well she was very curious about that so we explained it to her and you did. At this time you told your kids, hey uh, we're gonna go over there and look at clothes and you play here in the toys and uh, if you get lost or if there's any problem just go to the front of the store and tell them who you are and they'll do an announcement. So after explaining that uh, and going off to a different part of the store and leaving her in the toy aisle about 10 minutes later there's an announcement we have a little lost girl up here and her name is Becky and her mom's name is Lynn and her dad's name is Jerry so we go up there and we have the don't cry wolf talk with her on the way home about hey you only do that if you're really lost you don't like you know go up there and 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 uh, just do it so that you get your name announced in the store but of course she had had to try out the system so we're telling her that uh, you don't do that unless it's for real well a month later we're back in some store and sure enough here comes the message we have a little lost girl up here at the front of the store by customer service and her mom's name is Lynn and her dad's name is was your dad's name honey Dave her dad's name is Dave because if her dad's name is Jerry she's gonna be in trouble <laughs> so do I go up and retrieve my poor little lost five-year-old girl from customer service? No. I go across the store and grab her mother and say, Who the hell is Dave? <laughs> well, while I'm telling stories, let me tell you this one. My grandfather used to tell stories, and I always enjoyed this one. Um, I'll leave you to decide if it's true or not. He said, you know, tornadoes do funny things. And we would hear things when we were kids about, oh, a tornado went and it, it, it pushed a, a straw into a telephone pole. How in the world would it do that? Um, and you just hear that tornadoes would do really strange things. Anyway, Grandpa said he had a tornado one time. Um, one time when he was a kid, he was running the mowing machine. And now, this would have been way back when mowing machines were pulled by horses. And uh, he said the tornado came and it uh, grabbed up the horses and the mowing machine and he jumped off. And it was going around and around up in the sky and pretty soon it sucked up a colt. 
and it was going right up towards him. It was going to cut the colt's tail off. So he jumped up and shut the mowing machine off so it wouldn't injure the colt before the tornado set them all back down. And then that tornado went over and they had a sack of uh, corn in a gunny sack, shelled corn drying in a gunny sack. That tornado sucked the sack off and left the corn hanging there on the clothesline. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.